this morning. The Bible tells us that he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not will be condemned. If you've never come to that point in your life that you've given your life to Jesus, I pray that you will consider that today, the truth. And today, three people come and they want to take and demonstrate to you what they've done and accepted Jesus in their life, how they believe. The first person I have with me this morning is Matthew Trammell. Matthew, you come on down in here. Good to see you this morning, Matthew. How you doing? I noticed your hair is growing kind of long today. Where'd you get the idea to grow that hair so short? From your daddy, didn't you? <laughs> well, very good. You look very handsome this morning, Matthew. Matthew, we come this morning because of a decision that you made in your life. When did you make that decision to invite Jesus in your life? About a year ago? Good. And if you died today, who would it be that would get you into heaven? It would be Jesus. Matthew Trammell, because of your public profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We're baptized with Him in the likeness of His death, and we're raised to walk in the likeness of His resurrection. And all the people said, Amen. Bless you. And the Bible also talks about Jesus. It says He came to Galilee, to Jordan, to be to John, and he said, I need to be baptized. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of you, Jesus. But you see, Jesus was baptized, and he demonstrated to us what we need to do. Jesus went first. Now, Jesus was the perfect Son of God. He had no sin. But he demonstrated to us what we should do in following him. When we give our life to Jesus, the very first thing we ought to do is to get baptized, because it shows the picture of what Jesus did for us. He died on the cross. He was raised on the third day to new life. And we walk with Him every day. I also have another fellow with me this morning here too. What's your name, Randy? Randy. Randy. That's good. That's the same name I thought you had. And Randy, when did you give your life to Jesus? Yesterday. And if you died today, do you know who it would be that would get you into heaven? It would be Jesus. Randy... Trammel, because of your public profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We are baptized with Him in the likeness of His death and raised to walk in newness of life in the likeness of His resurrection. Amen. Your life to Jesus. Fifteen years old. And you come this morning to demonstrate the way you believe today as a result of that decision back then and how you've grown, that Jesus now is the Lord of your life and you're following Him. Is that right? When you die and you go to heaven and you stand before God, He says, Pamela, why should I let you into heaven? How will you answer Him? Because you love Jesus and trusted Him. Pamela, tremble because of your public profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We're baptized with Him in the likeness of His death, and we're raised to walk in the likeness of His resurrection. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Congratulations. Wow. It's so good, isn't it? And Jesus answered say unto him, Suffer to be so now, as He spoke to John. For thus cometh us to fulfill all righteousness. And then John baptized Jesus. Have you given your life to Jesus? You can do that like these folks did. Uh, they met with me during...